This is the old swimming hole at Rotunda, Florida, a residential recreation community where the sun is bright, the weather is delightful, and people come to have fun. And Rotunda is also the home of the Superstars competition. And that's why we are here, because today begins our new Superstar series for 1975. And this is the first of 10 Superstar competitions that you'll be watching. Right now, let's join Beth Havlicek on the right, Susan Miller Hunt on the left, and enjoy some of the bowling highlights. James Hunt, the Formula One Grand Prix racing driver, never spent much time in the bowling lanes, but I'll have you know that he was better on the lanes than Ard Schenk. He rolled a robust 130. That's right, European leader, no problem at all. Not bad for a foreigner, don't you think? <laughs> But the real story of the bowling developed between Pistol Pete Maravich of the New Orleans Jazz and John Havlicek of the Boston Celtics. They tied at 168. Maravich, in the two-frame roll-off, posted a strike and a spare. John Havlicek, in his second frame, thought he needed a strike to stay alive. Thus he asked for some respectful silence under the pressure of the moment. And approached the line thinking he had to have a strike. But in reality, all John needed was a spare to stay alive. As he came back to congratulate Pete, thinking that he had settled for second place, he was reminded that make this spare, John, and you still have a chance. Now watch what happened. He bought second place for sure as he hooked it to the left and then Pistol Pete, wanting to keep everything in its ultimate perspective, came striding forth, nailed down the decision with this stylish, firm, and final strike. Dave Waddle and Bill Bradley tied for third and Rod Gilbert finished fourth. <laughs> Make it be known. Thank you, Joseph. You got it, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Half mile coming up.